At my university, they recently shut down our normal mail servers that uh, had POP access and IMAP access, and you could use any email program like Outlook or Outlook Express, or, or there, there are just hundreds of other email programs that you could use. And they've decided to lock us down into this program that is web-based uh, and another program you can install on your computer. But this is a Lotus Domino or Lotus iNotes. It's, it's all part of a Lotus email and calendar program package. I'm not interested in using it. Um, I have ways that I like to use email and I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is in this video is show you how you can go back to using Microsoft Outlook if you want to and what we're gonna do is use Gmail as a go-between. Now there are a lot of advantages to doing this. Personally what I've been doing for years is simply had uh, iNotes forward my email to Gmail. The advantages are that with Gmail I have more storage space than I do at my university with this Domino system. Second thing is Gmail has much uh, better spam filtering than the university system does here. Personally, I just use the Gmail interface on the web and I'm really happy with it. But if you if you like Outlook or Outlook Express or some other program uh, with Gmail you can once the emails are in Gmail you can uh, configure your Outlook to connect to the Gmail and get your email messages from them. So I'm going to show you two things. First I'm going to show you how to have Lotus iNotes forward all of your email that comes in directly to Gmail. Then second, I'm going to show you how to set up Gmail so that you can send a message from Gmail with your university email address. Uh, just like it's coming from your, Gmail, your, your university address. So when you, when you send messages, it won't look like it's coming from Gmail. It'll look like it's coming from your regular university email account. Let me show you how to do this. Now, first to forward all the messages, log into your iNotes here, and then you want to go down to Tools here on the left-hand side, and then click Rules. We're going to create a rule to forward all the new messages that come in. I already have one rule that I, I created uh, to try to add some repetitive spam emails uh, to, to automatically move them to junk mail. But uh, we're going to create a new rule, so we're going to click new, new here. And iNotes wants you to give it a rule name. It doesn't matter really what you name it, but I'm going to just call it forward all. doesn't matter. Make sure enabled is clicked <coughs> here in this box. Now under create conditions, click this drop down arrow, arrow and go down to all documents all documents. This is going to tell it to forward all emails. And then click the Add button. Then go down here to Create Actions and click the down arrow and click Send Copy To. After you click Send Copy To, right below that you're going to type in the the Gmail address or wherever you want these emails to be forwarded to. So let me type in my Gmail address here. And then this says full down here. Just leave that as full and click the add button. And that will add that part. Click OK. And now you have a new rule. When all emails come, then send a copy to that Gmail address. Now, if you wanted to, you could also, I think, add a rule that deletes them after a certain time. Um, I usually go in and every few months delete everything manually. Okay, now we're done with iNotes. Now, 
let me show you what you need to set up in Gmail to get this to work a little smoother. Okay, I've logged into my Gmail account here. We want to do two things here. Uh, let's go over and click on the wheel for settings and then click settings. The, now if you just want to use G, the Gmail interface, it takes a little while to get used to but, but I've come to like it. If you just want to use the Gmail interface, here's all you have to do. Click accounts and import and what we want to do now is set it up to where when we send an email from Gmail it looks like it's coming from our university address. So add another email address you own. Click this button right here. Now I'm going to give it my email address from work, my university address. And then all you have to do is go next step. <clears throat> when you send mail as, as Berkey M at ncat.edu, the mail can either be sent through Gmail or sent through NCANT's SMTP servers. Which one do you want to do? I've always had it just send through Gmail, and it seems to work fine. The only downside is um, some email uh, companies including Gmail, will flag an email if it says it's coming from a university address, but it's actually sent through Gmail. That might be somebody trying to scam you in some way. Um, so I've, I've just always done it this way and I haven't, haven't had any problems. So send through Gmail, next step. Before you can send mail as this address, we need to verify that you own that email address. So they're trying to help keep people from scamming in this way. To perform the validation, click Send Verification. So they're going to send an email to this address to make sure that I actually own it. So send the verification email. Now I need to go back to the iNotes to see if that email has arrived. And it has from the Gmail team. And I'm not going to show you what that confirmation code is because then you might be able to take over my email address. So let me pause the video. What they're going to send you is a code and you need to type it in that box. So they sent me an eight digit code that they want me to type in that box. And so I am going to type that number in here and then click verify well you're not watching and after I clicked verify that little window where I typed in the number disappeared and <clears throat> one last thing you want to do so now it's added that email address what I did is clicked make default now this means that anytime I send an email from this email uh, gmail account it will make people who receive that email think it came from um, my university email address and when they hit reply to it'll go back to the university address. Now one of the thing that you can do if you want to if you want to now set up Outlook <coughs> to check the Gmail um, I know a lot of people who have rules that they've set up in Outlook to move messages to different accounts and, and they have their calendar in Outlook and everything and that's their home. Great. Let me show you how you can do that. Um, if you want to use Outlook then go over here to forwarding and pop IMAP and click there. What you have to do is decide whether you want to use the POP post office protocol or the IMAP protocol um, with Outlook. <clears throat> Basically the difference is post office protocol tells Outlook to retrieve all the messages and keep a copy of them on your computer. IMAP will connect to Gmail 
and as you interact with the email it's going to keep a connection with Gmail and if you delete an email in Outlook it will delete it on Gmail with with the POP all the uh, all the messages will be downloaded to your home computer and if you if you delete them it's only going to be deleted from your home computer there are some other differences but that's the biggest biggest difference for me now um, I have POP enabled um, and if you want to c to configure Outlook or Eudora or Netscape or some other kind of email account then Gmail will give you instructions to do that right here if you'd rather use the IMAP protocol where it's more interactive then you can click here enable IMAP and then you can click give me the cons configuration instructions and Gmail will walk you through Outlook eh, or Thunderbird or, or any other kind of uh, email program that you want to use I'm not going to go through those details I'm sure you can figure that out so I hope I hope you found this video uh, useful and helpful and good luck getting your email set up to do the things that you want